Disney World. Oh, folks. oh my god! The happiest place on earth. This friggin' place stinks. Let me tell you, <laughs> Disney World is a joke. The biggest money grab in the history oh, yeah. of money grab. It's <laughs> unbelievable. They nickel and dime you for everything. But today is the so today's Sunday. We're recording a day earlier this week. Thank you so much to the boys. Uh, they helped me out because tomorrow. I was able to get the fast pass. So the fast pass, you get somebody to come with you from the park and they just take you to the front of every single line. So today, all of the families at the park dealing with the 95 minute wait to go on Splash Mountain. And tomorrow, Witty comes in and Witty gets ushered around the whole <laughs> the whole park and walking on rides. You get so, the cart. so we get 10 people tomorrow. So uh, my family, Wyatt's obviously not here. My mom's with him, but then we got Ryder and then Steve and Kayla have three kids, and then my wife and her sister's parents are coming, Dave and Missy. So it'll be a blast. Ten people. And then I played golf my first round back. Yesterday was my birthday. Happy birthday to myself. 39 years old. Can't believe it. Thanks, all right. feel like I'm 65. Like, I'm not kidding. My body's in a bad place. But I played my first round of golf back since surgery on my birthday. And I came back. I shot 82. I hit it like trash. I hit two shanks in a row. Two holes in a row. Nine iron. Eight iron directly right into the water. Still ended up with an 82. Had three birdies, but I was back playing golf, and my elbow feels great, so nothing was bringing me down. And it was my birthday, so I'm in a phenomenal mood. Um, I had to go back to something last episode that I talked about the rink, the rink in Pompano Beach, uh, where where Ryder had met met Coach Janine, this awesome woman. She teaches figure skating, teaches hockey, so. All of a sudden, Merles and Miggs, and for people who don't know, Miggs is one of our good friends. He helps out Merles with the EBR. They're making picks, and they're doing it together. Miggs is a big part of the team. They write me. They say, Wit, we worked at that rink when we were in college. They had no dough and some friggin' classic stories they wrote me. So they had no money after, I think, their freshman year at RPI, and they went down, and they stayed at, like, the rink, The guy who owned the rink's, like, apartment there. He had a little, like, condo for him. Basically, one guy slept on the couch, one guy slept on the floor. And so they, they were asked to paint the locker rooms. They painted the locker rooms for five days. It was the wrong color. They had to start again right when it ended and redo it. <laughs> They ended every single day with a 96-ounce, what did he call it here, bucket of Long Island iced tea where they just got completely waffled. In in the time there, they made two thousand bucks. When Merle's got home, he owed his mom twenty five hundred because <laughs> she'd been sending him money down. And I guess also the funniest part that they told me was that one day they were asked to dig up all the shrubs in front of the building, so digging was taking too long. So they they, they tried to tie a rope to the to the, all the shrubs and then pull a truck and just pull them all out. <laughs> Didn't work. Only dented the truck and then you couldn't shut the back of it. So oh my the rink gosh. on Pompano Beach has been. Um, has been crushed before by by Migs and Merles, but that that gave me a gave me a laugh. And um, other than that, I'm ready to talk about hockey. Yeah, it's, it's wait, wait, the doldrums of the season. Going back to the fast pass, like uh, what does that cost, and do you get carted around too? Or I'm can not you make- willing. I'm not willing to say the cost of it. I'm really not because it's embarrassing. <laughs> but the guy at the golf course yesterday, Interlock, and unreal. I met this kid Jackson and Tim, the bag boys, unreal guys. They work at the shop. And he told me, you have that fast pass? He said, I've been living down here. Oh, no. So the kid picking the range at the course, he sees me. He goes, holy shit. Oh, like, like, like he saw fucking Jesus Christ. He goes, <laughs> I was just picking the range, listening to chicklets. And then I lift my head up. And one of the guys talking, <laughs> sitting on my range, hitting balls. So I would shoot the show with him. Nice kid. And then I said, I got the fast pass. He said, he, another, like a, a come to Jesus moment. You have the fast pass. He said, apparently in that fast pass, they walk you around. You say, hey, I want an ice cream. And boom, Mickey comes <laughs> bombing out of the shrubs and hands you the ice cream. I think it's as VIP as you can get at Disney World. So I feel bad for the whole fam today dealing with the lines, but I'm coming in tomorrow. Guns are blazing. I'm going to try to go oh, 50 rides tomorrow. Who did you? I, so obviously somebody put you in touch with somebody at Disney who got you this special fast pass. They ain't handing these things out. Are they even available to the general public online? Yeah, anyone can get them, but they oh. sell out quick and the first time i ever heard about him was when keith yandel came down here for the first time and he had it and he's like i can't imagine not having it it's like if you ever go you like i'm telling you you can't go without it but in in true fashion sorry all right there's there's two two and a half hour waits for the good ride so people go to the park they go on two three rides in a whole day and be there for 12 hours so 
Um, Keith, Keith mentioned to get it. Now, the, the biggest thing is last year, it was, uh, they weren't doing it because of COVID. So when we came last year, we brought Ryder. We wouldn't be back here if my nieces and nephews weren't already going. Because like, Ryder doesn't need to go again. But we came back with them. So I said, oh, well, now we got to try it. Uh, kind of like how Eichel wouldn't answer the question of what he's driving these days. I know. What was so up you, with that? I don't know. I, I would imagine it's probably something very, very nice that he didn't want to say on television. Like, any Golden Knights fan see him cruising around, let us know what this guy's uh, – or, or it's the contrary. Maybe, maybe he's embarrassed. Maybe he's got like a like a, like a dumper mobile, an Xfinity Q45, like I had my <laughs> rookie year when Rick Jackman told me I was the only guy in the league that would ever drive that. I would I say I GM, seventy years older. I, I would say Max Talbot he, easily he had one of the worst cars I've ever seen as the a pumpkin. <laughs> he had this. Uh, I think it was an Infinity too, right? It was a Nissan. It was a Nissan, Nissan Murano, SUV, Murano, and it was orange like a pumpkin. And it was orange like a pumpkin. And then he got those like chrome rims on it, and it was just, it, it was an absolute nightmare. I don't if know. You Send saw us- him driving around Wilkes Barre in that car, biz, and then somebody told you that kid's gonna score two goals in a two-one Game Seven Stanley Cup Final win. You'd say you're goddamn fucking crazy. A kid driving <laughs> around a pumpkin is gonna be in NHL history forever. So, so for all those out there in, in Vegas, uh, let's know what Jack Eichel's driving around in. Wait, I want to ask, like, what happens if a shitload of people buy the fast pass? Like, is there a line for all the fast pass people? Or, or, you know what I mean? Because if enough people buy it, does that form its they own line out. for he those folks? They, don't, they only sell a certain amount of them. Okay, okay. And um, I, think, I think you're guaranteed, I think it, the, the line will be, like, no longer than 20 minutes or 15 minutes, something like that. Like, I don't think, like, because... I have to imagine there's going to be a separate entrance because if there's some monster dude from Kansas who's spending his entire life savings on bringing <laughs> four scrubby kids to Disney World and that guy's waited in line for three hours for the Avatar ride and he sees me walking with my Avatar <laughs> sunglasses on and then he I cut him, they would have an issue with some violence. So I'm hoping we have an, our own Oh, entrance. my God. Am I ever fucking praying from... From Carl from Kansas, fucking knocking wit out on TMZ with those fucking avatar glasses. On. I hand him my ice cream that Goofy just brought me from the bushes. Hey, finish this, Carl. 